apologise? Can we all? Can we all? When are they going to apologise for their dismal record in housing? Not dismal down. record, yeah, yeah. but dismal record. We need we need calming down. Assembly member Dismal. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. I'd, I'd actually like to test your London rental standard, Mr. Mayor, against a real, a real case. I want to put to you the case of a Barnet landlord who has 15 properties in his, his, in his wife's name. In, his, in what? I want to put to you a, a, the case of a real case of a Barnet yeah. landlord who's got 15 properties in his and his wife's name and four in his company name. Yeah. Who's spoken to seven of his tenants, of which six are on housing benefit. Zoopla market rents estimates for these po six properties Zoopla. range. Yep. range from £989 to £1186. The local housing allowance, which is obvious, obviously per, average per, over the whole per, of North West month. London, on which the maximum housing benefit is based, is higher, 1300 for a three bed and 1560 for a four bed. Rents were charged to these six tenants, not at market rent, but much closer to the LHA rate, and in three cases more than the LHA. Uh, all these tenants happen to be BAME. So I the, just the can't hear what you're saying, Andrew. At 30, I'm going to put this case, then you'll put the question to you. The BME rents were 1350 to 1846. This looks like an exploitation of the housing benefit rules okay. and overcharging to the detriment of the public purse. Okay. The tenancies, I've seen the leases, which are assured short health for 12 months minus a day, permit rent increases by any amount at any time during the tenancy. Shelter say, quotes, we would almost certainly classify this as an unfair term. I'm not going to say it's probably illegal. I've, we've talked at length to one of the tenants. I'll just put this particular case to you. And this is what she told us. She'd been a tenant of this landlord for 12 years on one of these leases. He subdivided the living room with a flimsy partition to create the fourth alleged bedroom. The landlord showed up at their doorstep completely unannounced late at night and asked the new lease to be signed. He only showed them the last page of the lease, pressuring them to sign the lease without reading it, and the most recent lease, lease agreement had a named individual who witnessed the signing, but she never saw the witness before the lease was given to her pre-signed by the landlord and the witness. According to the terms of the lease, the landlord should give notice before showing up at the property, but he often appeared without any prior notification to discuss, discuss rent payments. In 2010, the rent was 1792 per month. In March 2011, less than 12 months later, it was increased to 1846 per month, no. The LHA was 1560 and Zoopla market rent was just 1093. The tenant was informed by the landlord of discretionary housing payments and he would make arrangements for her to go to Barnet Council to discuss DHP related matters. The housing benefit was cut due to the benefit cap but partially made up by DHA. The landlord agreed informally to accept the housing benefit amount but did not waive the arrears. When discretionary housing benefit was stopped, he used the accumulated arrears as grounds to seek eviction. And when she was given the eviction notice, which took place on the 25th of March this year, the landlord deducted a sum equivalent to the lost discretionary housing benefit from the tenant's deposit once she was evicted. This is what she's told us. Do you think this is how a good landlord should behave? Exploiting the housing benefit system by setting rents above market level, and indeed above LHA, unfair lease terms, turning up unannounced, dodgy lease signing arrangements. Would this conduct meet your recently announced London rental no, standard? Of course not, Andrew. For, for what, if I understood you correctly, now you must forgive me because I couldn't, quite, I couldn't get all of it uh, as, you, as you were reciting it. Um, uh, it obviously sounds like a, a terrible case, but it sounds to me as though this landlord has broken the law. Um, is, 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 am I right in thinking that? Well, I, I think there's an argument, certainly in terms of relation to the terms of the lease and whether the lease is actually I effective. think in terms of misrepresentation of the terms of the lease, uh, it, it, from, from your account, it sounded to me as right. though he had not been fair to the, to the tenant. Yeah. Now, you, that tenant uh, should have protection under statute against that misrepresentation. Well, and I will certainly be very happy to, to assist you or to join you in any way that you, you know, right. may be yeah. useful to, to vindicate the rights yeah. of, of that tenant. Well, would it surprise you also to know the landlord was not a member of the London Landlord Accreditation Scheme set up in 2004, in which Barnet Council participates? It, it would not surprise me in the least, but uh, I think what we, I think the, the, our first step in, uh, in protecting the rights of, of, of your tenant, who you are, uh, are rightly trying to, to help, should be to, to look at what, exactly how that landlord has behaved uh, in terms of uh, concealing uh, elements of the, of the lease yes. from her uh, at the time he got uh, her to sign it. That seemed to me, to prima facie, to be uh, illegal. 
mm. and uh, it may it may well be that there is there is redress that mm. uh, could be obtained there. Well, would it also surprise you to know the identity of the landlord? Because the landlord I've described is none other than the recently elected mayor of Barnet, Councillor Hugh Rayner, Conservative councillor, and the pre-signed witness was Conservative councillor John Hart. Well, as you've agreed to look into this, I, I, will you raise these issues with him direct as one of your party colleagues? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy to do so. I hope, I hope very much, and really it would be very unlike you, of course, uh, to have calumnied in any way uh, the reputation of any Conservative uh, colleague of yours. I can't believe that you would be, you would be so uh, underhand as to introduce any suspicion about the conduct of a it's well researched uh, of a, here's of a the research mr mayor member if, here's if, the research if, 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 here's if, the file of research if anybody has behaved illegally or or wrongly in the in the treatment of their their tenants then uh, the law is there to protect the tenants and i, I suggest that uh, what you should do is the um, the the member the assembly member concerned is is establish that point uh, work out, work out uh, whether you think uh, an, an offence has taken place, and uh, I, I believe you're a lawyer of some description, um, uh, and and then uh, and then see what you can do to help that person. Well, will you take it up as you agreed to do earlier? Well, I, 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 will, I will certainly be of any assistance I can, but I, I think I think the the first thing that this person needs is a, is a lawyer, perhaps even more able than you, um, to, to to look at the matter and work out. It's not is, funny. Where, uh, whether there this is, is not whether, funny, Mr. Mayor. Now you're laughing. It's not funny. Work out whether this is a serious regress. matter. It's not funny. It's not a joke. I, I appreciate that, and I, I, I appreciate that, that, that very much. I'm grateful to you uh, for bringing this to uh, the attention of the of the wider public. I'm sure that uh, you gave, you had the courtesy to notify the the councillor concerned that you were going to do this. Did you? I'm, I'm finished. Did you have the courtesy to notify well, the council of concerns? Mr. Mr. Mayor, we, are, we ask the questions, by and large. Well, I think it's a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no. If the Assembly to... member can't tell us whether he had the courtesy I'll move to... On. I think we'll take, his, I think we'll take his silences. Member, uh, Assembly member Fiona Twycross. Thank you.